Hi everybody. Valia, I saw in yesterday's class example that um, it's a lot thrown together when we start integrating. So uh, I got this idea last night to say let's let's introduce some symbols that we can quickly throw around to understand what is happening and to interpret. So so the idea is to have something like an emoji or little symbols to to quickly be able to communicate to one one another in terms of what we are really talking about because I find myself repeating long sentences saying the same thing over and over again. Let's get it shorter and let's get it in drawings and also let's get on with it. So I introduced to you my first emoji. It's referred to as the Mu power plant and its friend is the second emoji which will be referred to as the theta power plant. Okay, so these little power plants are really captured within a cell. Okay, and like any power plant, you need to feed it something, and a power plant will be fed with coal. Okay, so a little power plant will be fed with coal, but if it is a um, microbial cell, we won't feed it with coal, we'll feed it with glucose. Okay, and of course, and this is very important, what's the main objective of the power plant? It is to make energy, okay? So the energy the top power plant make is mu times delta, that's the energy for growth, and the energy that the bottom um, power plant make is the energy for maintenance, or theta. Okay, but like in a power station, there is always some byproducts, sometimes wanted, sometimes not wanted. In a power plant, byproducts will be something like ash or even something like off gas. So these are byproducts. In our case yesterday, in the example in 6.2, the products were ethanol and glycerol. So this is very important. Metabolites is the byproduct of making energy. Okay, it's all about power plants making energy. We get byproducts, they might be very useful for us, but for the cell, it's byproducts. So I'm going to repeat this again. Metabolites like ethanol or glycerol are byproducts of making energy. Very, very important. Okay, so the next emoji that I want to introduce is the gauge. Okay, so I'm going to put my best attempt at a gauge just to think of your car when you're driving you know you've got a zero value and then depending on how fast you push it you can go all the way to the max okay so the gauge of the power plant is telling us how much energy the power plant is making okay so if this gauge is running in the red um, over here at the top gauge my mu power plant is like really producing okay and let's say my theta power plant is also running at full capacity what happens now is I've got this factory running hard this factory running hard so it will require a lot of coal okay I'm going to use the word pull it's going to pull in a lot of coal and if it's a cell it's going to pull in a lot of glucose so remember the word pull, okay? But simultaneously, it will also push out a lot of energy. So it will pull coal, push energy, push energy. But it will also push a lot of byproducts like ethanol and glycerol. So pull is what's coming in and push is what's coming out. Sometimes it's referred to as throughput, a very important chemical engineering term. But we want to know how much is pulled and how much is pushed. So while we're on the subject of pulling and pushing, let's introduce my latest emojis. We're going to start with the micro... Uh, sorry, I've got the wrong one here. We're going to start with the microbe pulling. Okay, so the smiley face one is one that pulls a lot of weight okay so it's really pulling a lot of glucose and its opposite emoji is the one 
that doesn't really pull a lot of weight. You can see there, um, just have a look, um, not a lot of weight compared to this guy. That's why he doesn't have a great, it doesn't have the smiley face. So this is the pull that relates to the microbe. I'm just going to put a very important thing over here and it'll say this will be the rate of substrate consume, consumption where the rate refers to the microbe. Okay, and it's not just about pulling, it's also about pushing. So the counterpart over here will be the microbe pushing. Okay, it's not going to push, I'm just going to take this away. It's not pushing substrate, it is pushing product. And let's just get the counter emoji. So this is the one that pushes a lot of weight. Okay, can you see that strong guy over here? So, so this is now the push success. And this is the poor push, okay, not pulling a lot of product. And when we talk about these two emojis, we are referring to the rate of some metabolites, some byproduct of energy. And please note that R, it refers to the basis of biomass because what I've drawn here is a cell. Okay. But it's not only the cell that can pull and push. There is also the fermenter that can pull. Okay. So I've got here a healthy pulling fermenter. Okay. That's another emoji. And then I have over here a fermenter that is not really pulling. Okay. And um, what we have here when we talk about these emojis is very importantly is the rate, the volumetric rate of substrate consumption. Okay. So substrate getting pulled. But now we're talking about the fermenter. And remember that RSV is equal to the RS we just had before times the catalyst concentration. So it was the concentration of X. Okay. Now you can just have a look over here. And this is why I used colors for this emoji. This poor little emoji has a very pale color because it has a low concentration of cells in it. Well, this little guy is nice and thick and soupy, a real fermentation broth. It has a lot of cells in it, so it is pulling a lot of substrate. But you got to remember, in addition, there's a third little emoji for the fermenter puller. Okay, and this guy, just have a look at him. Okay, he looks nice and thick and soupy, so he's got a high cell concentration. You can see it. But why is it not pulling the weight or the substrate? Well, that would be because the cells themselves that fills the fermenter is not really pulling. So RS will be low even though CX is high. So you can have a high concentration of catalyst, but because your gauges, if you remember those gauges, they are not pulling in the microbes. Those factories aren't running at full capacity. Maybe the mu factory has been shut down. So there's a lot of cells in there, but they're not producing per cell. And then the volumetric pull won't be much either. Of course, there is the fermenter. And whenever I mention fermenter, please remember volumetric rate. The fermenter, and this is another emoji, can, always, can also be pushing. Okay, have a look at this guy. He is, and I'll give you three of them. So we've got um, two of them sad-faced because they are not pushing sufficient amounts. This little guy over here might have a lot of cells in it, so you'd be expecting volumetrically some push. But the cells themselves in the thing are not pushing. So really, this little guy, and I'm just going to keep, um, I'm just going to, give you, oof, I've got so many emojis now, I'm going to show you quickly this one, because this is the cell that is now functioning in this fermenter. The cell itself is not pushing, and therefore the fermenter itself is not pushing, even though there's a lot of cells in the fermenter. Okay, but the last one, and that's obviously the one that we want, is 
the emoji where the thick soupy lot of cells in our fermenter guy is pushing a lot of weight so it is making a big volumetric production of product this is very important last but not least we have the bioprocess engineer himself doing either some pulling or some pushing Ugh, sorry both these guys are pulling you can see the happy face guy well he's pulling some weight good stuff the sad face guy is not pulling enough okay and uh, similarly to before um, it's this will represent well it will represent the integral of the volumetric substrate consumption over time okay this 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 is really what pulling for the process engineer is about and this gets closer to making real money so similarly we have in terms of pushing let's just go to the next slide so the process engineer can also do some pushing okay let's just make him bigger there's the process engineer what's the sad phase one he's not pushing enough but this process engineer he's really pushing the product and uh, this is the real happy phase because he is seeing the money that he's making so let's just have a look what will the pushing represent the pushing will represent the integral of the volumetric rate of product production okay over time so if the process engineer is pushing a lot like this guy is doing the integral over time of the volumetric rate will be big okay so typically you want to complete the whole fermentation in short times for this little guy to feature okay so that's it just an introduction to the little pictures we will hopefully now be using on a few of the examples even mentioning them in class and we get a feel for um, quickly referring to high productivities based on the microbe based on the fermenter and also based on the objective of the process engineer that's it see you later